As promised, joining us right now is Montaigne Karen Harrington, director of the Pontifical Mission Society. She's going to tell us all about that. Uh, Montaigne Harrington, thank you so much for being with us today. Bishop Reed, it's my pleasure. Thank you. You know, uh, this coming uh, Sunday is World Mission Sunday, and I, I know you're very well aware of that. And we're going to be have a, having a collection at my parishes here in Watertown and at parishes across across the country. Why is that collection so important from your perspective as one who sees its results? So uh, the first thing, Bishop, I would say is the most important thing that happens that Sunday is that priests preach on the missions and the importance of the missions. I, I see my, my, my first job as to really inspire uh, in the church in the United States, a, a love and devotion to the missions. And, and then, of course, if you really love and have a great devotion to the missions, then you're going to want to support them with your alms. And so, uh, so that's what I really see my job here is, is, is to kind of a, a, a create a love in the United States uh, for the mission church. There are 1,100 mission dioceses throughout the world and mostly in Africa and Asia. This is a young church, a poor church, in many cases, a persecuted church. And so what we want to make sure is that the church here in the United States is praying for that church, uh, praying for that church, and then making sacrifices for that church, one of which those sacrifices, which would be a financial sacrifice, but also to encourage uh, young people to think about being missionaries to go to uh, the mission church and help to preach the gospel there. Before um, we began the interview, we were speaking, and, and you mentioned uh, going to Ethiopia, uh, the, the tremendous struggle that the people there experienced, but the great exuberance and the joy of the faith. Just as an example, could you tell us about the church in Ethiopia, the missionary t work there? You know, the, uh, the, the political situation is tenuous in Ethiopia, and so uh, that creates the first uh, challenge for the church, especially in certain regions uh, where there is uh, violence and there's conflict. Uh, but then you also are dealing with poverty, and so that exacerbates that situation. Uh, and yet uh, you're still dealing with an ancient church uh, and uh, 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 side by side. And so you have the uh, Orthodox uh, Church, which is side by side, the uh, Catholic community. So it's a, it's a, it's a fascinating place uh, where, uh, you know, you think about it going back to the Acts of the Apostles, and you hear uh, the story of the Ethiopian eunuch and his, uh, his baptism. Uh, and... Uh, what we what we really come uh, to recognize is that this is a uh, a church which, uh, on one level, has very deep roots uh, in apostolic times, and at the same time, uh, because of the nature of Africa, the remoteness of Africa, uh, there is also uh, those who are just now coming to know the gospel. The Holy Father has shared with us the theme for World Mission Sunday this year, and that is hearts on fire feet on the move. Can you unpack that theme uh, for us a bit this morning? Sure. You know, uh, it, it really is coming from St. Luke's Gospel, and it is the uh, road to Emmaus, uh, where the disciples are speaking, and you, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way? And uh, the key uh, thing, Bishop, you know, what I would say is, you know, for most of us as, uh, as Catholics, when we say we're going to church on Sunday, we say, I'm going to Mass. I'm going to Mass on Sunday. And uh, why do we say we're going to Mass? We say we're going to Mass because of the very last words that the priest says in the liturgy, in the old way, it was, ita misa es, you know, you're sent, you're sent, uh, misa being sent. And, uh, and so the key component of going to church on Sunday for Catholics is not so much that I just receive communion so that I might be holy, but I am holy so that I can go bring Christ uh, to all those places in the world uh, where I work and where I live, but specifically Matthew 28, we're reminded that I'm not simply called to be in my own home, but I'm called to go out uh, to, to my brothers whom I don't know. And, and this is what I would propose to you. You know, just a few days ago, we celebrated the feast day of St. Therese of Lisieux. She's one of the patronesses of the missions. How is that possible? Here is this cloistered nun, uh, and yet she's a patroness of the missions because she had a missionary heart. Even though she never left her cloister, she prayed earnestly for the church and the missions, for the success, for their well-being, for the faithfulness of the church and well-being. In that way, she was a missionary, not unlike Francis Xavier, a missionary who's our other patron, who, of course, will celebrate his feast day 
in December who went to India and made so many converts because of his actions, because of his life, because of his deeds. So this, this two sides of the coin, the prayer, the contemplation, and the action, this is what is really we're hoping to inspire World Mission Sunday. That, that Catholics in the United States who have been recipients of generosity from the church in Europe up until 1908, that we recognize that it is our profound baptismal responsibility to support the church, which is young, poor, and in many cases, persecuted. Well, we're just about out of time. Monsignor Harrington, thank you so much for being with us today, especially as we anticipate World Mission Sunday this coming weekend. If people can't wait till this weekend or they want to keep the missions always in their focus and also offer financial support, where can they go to find more information? So uh, the website is One Family in Mission, One Family in Mission, uh, and uh, dot org, and uh, they can make a contribution there if they'd like. Perfect. Well, go back to your very good work. Thank you so much for being with us today, and uh, in anticipation, happy World Mission Sunday to you, Monsignor Karen Harrington.